for brands to stay ahead of the game as they enter 2024, kind of as you've been mentioning, I think really just honing in on AI and different AI tools that can really benefit them. Um, so are there any other, you know, different ways that as they enter 2024, they can stay ahead of the game, maybe besides AI, because I know we touched on that one. And I think that's definitely at the forefront. Um, I mean, I use AI. I was, I, I already said this on LinkedIn, but I use an AI um, video tool when I film because I cannot remember lines and it does an AI corrector. <laughs> and it's great, right? I'm able to get a ton of content done um, in a short amount of time. But is there any other tools or tips that you can think of as they enter 2024? Yeah, I want to talk about audio first content. You know, because audio first content is no longer just podcasting and it's no mm -hmm. longer just streaming. Um, uh, there's a lot of business for creators that's happening right now on LinkedIn. There's a wonderful live community of audio first creators that are experts in their field, that are categorical leaders and experts in current jobs that mm -hmm. aren't even looking for a revenue stream from a brand as a creative perspective, but would love the support and alignment of the brand. Yes, that comes in financial form, of course, but it's the, it's, 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 it's knowing that there's power in numbers mm -hmm. and that's that, that's a powerful relationship that can happen between the indie creator, the indie person who owns their, whether that's a brand or a creator. So in, in audio first, um, I think there's a lot of discovery that's yet to happen. Um, so I think that's one thing. And I'd love to point out stickers and GIFs and mm -hmm. Giphys and, you know, the, the, the library that feeds LinkedIn and Twitter is called the tenor and the library that feeds Instagram and our iOS devices and Facebook. And I believe TikTok is Jiffy. So mm -hmm. there's two different core libraries to be on. Um, but being found, being created when someone wants you at their demand in, from a search opportunity, it's a powerful opportunity as a brand to show up. And now knowing that those stickers and GIFs, mm -hmm. which is, I bring this up because probably most brands don't have a sticker and GIF strategy, by the way, yeah. you're giving people the opportunity to create in your voice. You want, you want them to use your words, give it to them. You want them to use yeah. your tools, give it to them. Mm -hmm. you know, this is how we can support. The, this is what support yeah. looks like to me so that um, and it's what a wonderful opportunity to be tagged into it. But now mm -hmm. that those stickers and those memes are no longer just output, but are now input to the click of a button. Right. And so just I want to be mindful of the intellectual property exchange and what that all means. So I'm not right. <laughs> telling everybody to create something and put it on the public market. We'll have a whole different conversation <laughs> about how to leverage IP. But this is, this is when brands need to be creating that audio and audio first means maybe start a podcast, which gives you the RSS feed an address that allows people to subscribe from you. You don't even need to create podcasts. You could just pick some of your great podcasters and mm -hmm. now you've created a stage to support them. Yeah. And if you want to reward them financially, you can, again, I can, not the time or place, but I can give you the incentives mm -hmm. to make it rewarding for brand and podcaster um, because, man, podcasters create hours of content. They make minutes mm -hmm. of videos. And now with AI, we finally have the ability to put out, you know, short form content where it's prioritized things to YouTube. It's a big opportunity for us to stand out.